Right. So welcome back students. After your concept, what, what concept did we learn till now? I have told you the introduction for your uh, 11th chemistry. Then I went into the topics like I have given the index for the whole chapter. Then I started with uh, giving you information regarding uh, stic that is your uh, significant figures as well as uh, scientific notation. I also gave you what is the difference between element, mix, uh, compound, mixtures, all these things. Now let us come back to the next topic that is dimension analysis. So you have in physics also and chemistry too. What is this? Dimension analysis basically it is a technique like when numerical is given to you a lot of conversions are supposed to be done it's a technique for solving numericals. So in dimension analysis first important thing for your 11th examination or rather mostly most of them you need to remember the conversion factors. What is that? The conversion factors please uh, google it and you will get it. The conversion factors which are pertaining to length how to convert meter to centimeter, centimeter to further millimeter like that. So the conversion Conversion factor of length, mass and weight, conversion factor of volume, conversion factor of temperature, conversion factor of pressure and force and energy. All these conversion factors try to note it and keep it will be very useful but I will also be doing along with the numericals also. So let's come back. So what did I say? Dimension analysis is nothing but it is a technique to solve numericals. So suppose if a question is given to us. So as I said you need to remember all these. Now uh, pertaining to this question I have given you certain conversion factors here. Fine. So a jug contains 2 liters of milk. Calculate the volume of milk in meter cube. It is the simplest numerical. So I need to convert it into and I need to find from liters I need to find it into meter cube. How should you do? First of all when you are trying to do it try to pick up the quantity which is given to you whatever quantity you are supposed to uh, solve. So 2 liters Multi multiply it. So take now <clears throat> First of all, what, what do I know from the conversion factors? 1 liter is equal to 1 dm cube, decimeter cube. The same dm cube is equal to 10 raised power of minus 3 meter cube. First keep noting in your book this. Then as and when you use it will be useful. Just keep practicing. First you should know the basic information. So 1 dm cube is equal to 10 raised power of minus 3 meter cube. Fine. That is again equal to 10 raised power of 3 centimeter cube. Again equal to 10 raised power of 3 milliliter uh, cubic centimeter. 10 raised power of 3 cubic centimeter. So this is one, one way. And the second variety is 1 milliliter is equal to 1 centimeter cube or equal to 10 raised power of minus 6 meter cube or equal to 1 cubic centimeter. Now, I am going to use this data. How should I use? First of all, what did they ask me? They have given me this data. I need to convert it into meter cube. Simple. Now, take out, take 2 liters. Now, divide by 1 liter. Why? Because this liter and this liter gets cancelled. Now, come back to the table. <laughs> 1 liter is how much? 1 dm cube. 1 dm cube is how much? Equal to 10 raised power of minus 3. Because I am going to stop here. Why? They have given me to find out for meter cube. So simple. Try to multiply with 10 raised power of minus 3 meter cube. Right along with the units. Hope you have understood this. You know, I can take dm cube. Not a problem. But again dm cube. Again meter cube. Why to convert? Because this is equal to this. So 1 liter is equal to 10 raised power of minus 3 meter cube also. This liter and this liter gets cancelled. Now what is left? Uh, the left? 2 into 10 raised power of minus 3 meter cube. Now we have got the answer, isn't it? Simple. <laughs> Using dimension analysis, cancel the common terms. Fine. So now the answer which is expected is in meter cube. Fine. So these things will be given in the exam also. The parameters will be given, but better you remember, memorize the parameters, the conversion factors, and go to the exam. Right. So let's come back and do one more question which is based on the time value, right? So time, now we are going to consider the time factor. Now simple, we know one day is equal to 24 hours. Again the same one hour is equal to 60 minutes, one minute is equal to 60 seconds. These are the conversion factors for time. Now what is given in the question? Simplest basically, how many seconds are there in two days? Nothing to do. Simple, remember parameters are given to you. You need to convert the day seconds, uh, so convert the days into seconds. How many seconds? Final answer, you should have it in seconds. Simple. Pick up this information so two days into right divide now I need to cancel this correct so divide it by one day so that this day and this day gets cancelled now what is one day equal to it is equal to 24 hours now still my answer is not ready because I need to find in seconds now again divide it by one hour why right? this hour and this hour gets cancelled so one hour is how much 60 minutes done still my answer is not complete because I need to find in seconds divide this again by one minute so, so this R and this G R gets cancelled. This day and this day gets cancelled here. And now I need to cancel this minute. So I have divided it with one minute. So one minute is how much? 60 seconds. 
so this minute and this minute gets cancelled now simple isn't it now multiply 2 into 24 into 60 into 60 how much this comes to this comes to almost 172 800 seconds so this is how you're going to do this up only thing important is first of all take the given quantity it should be cancelled then you multiply and like uh, divide it by one day so that this day and this day gets cancelled now one day is equal to 24 hours that i have written to cancel this again i have written one hour one hour is how much 60 minutes that hour and this hour got cancelled <coughs> to uh, again to cancel this minute i have divided with one minute one minute is how much 60 seconds this minute and this minute got cancelled finally i have multiplied to get the required answer which should be in seconds because they have asked in seconds right now let us come back and do the next one now we have picked up based on distance so you need to know the conversion factors for distance so what is this well, express each of the following in si unit so basically for in i need the given uh, data let us read the question first distance between earth and sun that is 93 million miles i need to convert this million miles into the si unit what is the si unit for uh, distance si unit for distance is nothing but meters isn't it this is the si unit so meters i need that means i need to convert the given answer into your uh, meters fine let me pick up what is the data what is 93 million miles nothing but 93 into 10 raised power of 6 isn't it yes <coughs> miles fine done so million i've written in this form done miles now pick up 93 into 10 raised power of 6 okay miles fine into i need to cancel this mile so i'm going to write it in form of one mile so that this mile and this mile gets cancelled now what is one mile equal to 1.6 these are the conversion factors which i've given please try to note it in your book it may be useful in any numerical given in the exam fine one mile is how much 1.6 kilometer right <coughs> into i need to cancel the kilometer so i'm going to write 1 km now so this first of all let us cancel this mile and this mile got cancelled now this kilometer and this kilometer gets cancelled what is one kilometer equal to it is nothing but 10 days per of three meters done now my final answer i've stopped it till meters because i need to get the answer in si unit they said si unit for distance is nothing but meters as i said so i've stopped it here now multiply 93 into 10 raised power of 6 into 1.6 into 10 raised power of 3 fine how much do i get i'm going to get an answer of 148.8 into 6 plus 3 9 further i can simplify writing in decimals or i'm going to shift this one and two so what do i get because this is more than a five i can round it off to 1.49 so this comes back to one two so 1.49 into 10 raised to the power of 11 isn't it two decimals so 11 this is the final answer which you have got Right. Now let us see one more question which is based on the distance. So we have tried to solve, uh, we have tried to solve in terms of, we have solved it uh, like in day concept, we have, uh, we have written in terms of uh, length, we have spoken, spoken in terms of distance, right? Uh, we have spoken in terms of volume like that. Let us see this distance again. So simple. What do they give us? Express each of the following. The question given to us is average distance between carbon atoms in diamond is 1.54 angstroms, right? You need to <coughs> Uh, write it in terms of your uh, uh, like uh, SI unit. Find both the conversions. We will try to do it. Fine. So meters and centimeters. First of all, given to us is 1.54 angstroms into. I need to cancel this angstroms. So I'll write it as one angstrom. What is one angstrom equal to? It is nothing but 10 raised power of minus 10 meters. Suppose I need to. I'll still further convert it. What do I do to cancel this one meter? You'll divide by one meter. So one angstrom and one angstrom gets cancelled here 1 meter 1 meter gets cancelled what is 1 meter equal to 10 raised per of minus 8 centimeter fine so that is what you're going to do fine suppose if you're stopping it till here what do you get si unit in terms of meters how much do i get 1.54 into 10 raised per of minus 10 meters if you're further continuing till centimeter if they ask you like they have not asked us if they further ask you in centimeter you will multiply 1.54 into 10 raised power of minus 10 into 10 raised power of minus 8 correct so basis are same 
minus into plus this is this becomes minus into plus minus and you finally find the answer so the answer which you get is 1.54 into 10 raised power of minus 10 plus minus 8 so 1.54 into 10 raised power of minus into plus is minus so try so minus into minus is plus so i get 18 minus. this is in centimeter this is how we are going to do Right, now let's come back and do one more numerical. This is based on the height. So here, what do they give us? Express each of the following in SI unit. That is a common question for all the three. Average height of Indian male, that is 5 feet 6 inches. Six inches. So 5 feet 6 inches, they want us to write an SI unit. So what is a SI unit of this particular thing? It's meters, isn't it? That means I need to find the answer in meters. First of all, let us take that 5 feet. So 5 feet 6 inches. What is 5 feet 6 inches means? 1 feet is how much or 1 foot is how much? 12 inches. So first of all, let us convert 5 into 12. 12 into 6. Uh, sorry, plus 6. Plus 6, isn't it? Fine. So 60 plus 6, nothing but 66 inches. 5 feet, 5 feet 6 inches means 66 inches. Now it's easy. I'll use the conversion factor. So I like, take that 66 inches. Find I need to find in what? In meters because it is an SI unit for height. 66 inches into I need to cancel this. So I'm going to divide by 1 inch. How much is 1 inch? I know 1 inch is equal to 2.54 into 10 raised power of minus 2 meters. So multiply that 2.54 into 10 raised power of minus 2 meters because I need the answer in meters. So multiply this now 66. 66 into this, this these two multiplication factor I get answer of 167. I have written it here directly into 10 raised power of minus 2 meters. So still further to simplify, I'm going to shift this decimal 1 and 2. That comes to 1.67. 2 already I shifted. 1.67 meters. So this is your 1.67 meters. That 2 we have converted given 5 feet 6 inches into meters. According to the question given. That is SI unit for the height is nothing but mean meters. Finding in meters. Right. Now let's come back and do one more NCRT numerical based on your dimension analysis. Here, what do they give us? Pressure is determined as force per unit area of the surface. The SI unit for pressure, that is Pascal, is given here. They will give you like this in the numerical, the conversion factor. And what should I do? If the, if the mass of the air sea level is 1034 gram per centimeter square, calculate the pressure in Pascal. Simplest, nothing by much uh, big, like, uh, big numerical to solve. Let's see. Whichever answer you get, you need to get in terms of Pascal. That is what you remember. So this Pascal value is already given, right? Fine. So <clears throat> that means I'm going to get this value. From that value, I'm going to get this. Let's see. First of all, pick up this. What do we know? Pressure is equal to force per unit area. Again, it can be mass per unit area, right? Let us say mass is given to us. How much? 1034 grams. Per unit area we have written, so into 9.8 msn square divided by centimeter square. Yes, done. Fine. So now further convert this gram into kilogram now because I need to get in Pascal, isn't it? So why this here in new in n uh, nm one newton we have kilogram. So first I'll come back to this find this and then equalize to this okay let us see what i'm trying to tell you 1034 gram converted to kg then you multiply with 100 into 100 into 9.8 m s minus 2 so centimeter also you will convert it into 1000 meters meter square fine now careful 1 meter and this uh, one meter gets cancelled. There's one more one meter left. This thousand, this thousand gets cancelled. Now what are we left with? We left with 1034 into 9.8. How much it's coming to? It's coming to 1013320. Now careful. 130, 1034 into 9.8. I got this answer. But what is left now? Units kilogram. If I have to uh, speak, m s minus two. 
ms minus 2 now what did we write 1 kilogram ms minus 2 is nothing but 1 newton isn't it so 1 this kilogram ms minus 2 is 1 newton so i'm going to write that as newton this kilogram ms2 newton so what is this uh, 1 uh, newton equal to uh, nothing but like if i have to take this meter above this still meter uh, left so this second is also left so kilogram is equal 1 kilogram meter second inverse is equal to 1 newton meter square because this is equal this is also equivalent now further i'm going to shift this decimal to five positions one two three four five it is equal to one point zero one three three two how many decimals did i shift i've just shifted one two three four five into five ten raised to the power five now one what is one newton per meter square is equal to one pascal so i got the answer as pascal look here hope this is clear first i took it in grams i took the formula i substituted then i converted grams into kilograms then i cancelled the common terms after that i multiplied i very well know one newton is equal to one kg per meter square so one kg per meter square this is there i've got the answer but i very well know one uh, one uh, newton meter square is equal to one pascal so one newton meter square is equal to 1 pascal finally i solve the answer in terms of pascals